This is the forest that I grew up playing in with my siblings. My grandmother, she even had her ceremonial sweat post back here. It's a sacred area that we've been practicing our ceremonies here for a long time. Yeah, this is the forest. I'm walking actually on the foot trail that the band is trying to force upon this forest here. This is our forest. I grew up playing here, learning all about nature here and about the land. It was back here that I seen my first sweat house when I was a girl. And my dad was a residential school survivor and it took a while for him to share about ceremonies and his experiences with ceremonies. So we were shocked. We thought it was a tent back there and we were a bunch of city girls before we moved here. We lived in the city, two different cities. And then we, our parents moved back into our home community and this is where we've been. I feel comfortable in this forest. I sleep out here sometimes. It's so beautiful, the, the deer bed here. If you've seen video footage of us with our puppies, this is where we take them. And we run them back here in this back forest. So you can see it doesn't have complete cover. The sun comes in still. A lot of the pine bark was removed from here and chipped. And some of the, all of that going back into the, I'm over here. That's Aisha. Yeah, so this is where I'm walking is the approximate location that they want to put a road. Pretty we a wide road that it could fit two vehicles like a res road, paved res road, or maybe not even a paved res road. I don't know. So this is the approximate area. And that's my mom's house right there. And this is an intact forest that Nisqually that they want to make into a res road. And we're not going to let that happen. All around the world, cities are um, correcting their city design by building entire forests, bringing back ecological biodiversity, bringing back the trees and all the plants that the animals and the birds need to survive, an intact ecosystem. And that's what they're trying to remove here. They're trying to remove an intact ecosystem. Like I said, the deer, they bed here. There's many birds that come through here. This is a safe place for the four-legged, so they come here and they find sanctuary here in this forest. There's a lot of different animals that live here. All the moss and the different varieties of moss. I gather my medicine back here. Um, some, sometimes it's on a daily basis, just coming out here and gathering medicine and taking care of this forest. A lot of other people have to start connecting with the land, just getting out there and being out on our land because the government does, the government does steal land away from us and say we're sleeping on our rights. So, 
What I'm walking on right now is a water line. When my parents opened up their family business, they put in a water line. It was very expensive. And here it is, it's, it's right here. This is actually our family's water line. It's not a band road. This is actually a water line right here. And those big highway trucks were trying to ride, drive on it. No, it's not a road. So this is actually where they want to, where this trail is, they want to put my mom's house is there. And then they want to put the road right here, right beside her house and take out an entire section of forest right here. They want to cut right through here, like right where I'm walking. Right through a perfectly intact forest, which we need to curb this heat. And we all experienced that heat dome last year. We would have suffered so hard if we didn't have this forest in our community. And they want to take it right now when we have a climate catastrophe happening with the heat. They want to remove this. Look how much moisture is being stored in here. So much moisture. Look at this. Life. A very own universe right here. We're not going to let them... Take this forest. We can't. We have a responsibility. It's not all about greed. Greed begets greed. Greed is contagious. It's not all about selling out for those deals. My parents did a lot for this community. This is wrong for them to take this. A lot of people access this, this forest and the animals, the birds, and this is where they want to just put it through, right here. They crawl us onto these prison camps and then they want to destroy what we have left here. These reservations, these res Indian reserves, they're prison camps. When you compare the level of health amongst people around the world, we've been ranked 74 in the 70s. When Canada ranked number one, we were ranking in the 70s. That's total human rights violations there. You don't need to be a genius to know who's going to be rich and who's going to be poor by giving us these small 0.2% reserves and 98.9 or 99.8% of the rest of so-called Canada goes to Canadians and Point zero, zero point two land is the Indian reserves. <sighs>